Well, good morning. Uh, another week Monday. Boy, it rained all night, but it uh, real nice this morning. Warm and and uh, sun shining. And uh, here we are in uh, Matthew chapter 20 in the New Testament this morning, reading through the Bible in a year. And and uh, we're back in uh, Exodus, uh, looking at the children of Israel in the wilderness. And that's certainly exciting, too. Let's look at the last part of, of uh, Matthew 20. And uh, we'll pick it up. Oh, let's see where we're going to pick it up. Let's pick it up, verse 25. And Jesus called uh, them unto him and said, Ye know that the, the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them, and they that are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you, but whosoever shall be great among you, let him be your minister. Verse 27, chapter 20, Matthew. And whatsoever <clears throat> will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Oh, look at there. <clears throat> Christianity is about big shots. It's about servants. <clears throat> Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Yeah. <coughs> so that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Being a servant. The master's servant <coughs> was the Lord Jesus Christ. You and I need to follow him and be servants. Don't always want to be the big shot. Don't want to be the deacon in the church. Don't want to be the lead speaker. Don't want to be the head honcho in anything. Just serve. If God wants to exalt you and move you ahead to another position, let him do that. Quit being so pushy. Quit being so bossy. Quit trying to take over the show. I'm very suspicious of people that come to the church or come to the rescue mission and they're brand new and they just got so much to say about themselves, how wonderful they are and what they've done. I'm very suspect of those people, and I, I watch them very carefully, and I certainly don't move too quickly on what they've been saying to use them in places of authority. I want to see how they can serve. Let's see if they can clean the toilet. Let's see if they can take the garbage out. Let's see if they can pick up some, uh, uh, clean the flower beds out or cut the lawn. Uh, let's see if they can be a servant. They come around telling me about what big things they've done and what a big shot they are. Uh, don't tell me about how great you are. Show me. Uh, and, of course, uh, uh, the servant is so important. We know the beginning of this chapter. Let's just go back to it a minute. Uh, now we aren't going to go all the way back to the bidding. Uh, let's see where we go. Da -da -da -da. Verse 20. Let's go to verse 20. Uh, then came, uh, then came to him, then came to him the mother of, man, my eyes ain't working too well this morning. I had this cataract operation. It's been kind of off and on. I'm going to see the doctor again Wednesday. Uh, so f excuse me if I'm not reading just right. Uh, it's this cataract thing, kind of gets real good and it gets a little bit less and it's healing. Uh, Zebulun's children uh, with their sons, worshiping him and desiring uh, a certain thing of him. So here, here comes mama uh, with her boys. And he said uh, unto her, what will thou? And she said unto him, grant that these, my two sons, may sit the one on thy right hand and the other on thy left hand in the kingdom. There you go. 
Mama wanting to push your kids like mamas always do. They shouldn't really. They should let their kids serve and go on their own merit. They're always trying to maybe get into something they don't deserve. But Jesus answered and said, We know not. You know not what you ask. Are you able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, We are able. We'll follow you, Lord. We'll take the persecution. That's what she says. And they said, And he said unto them, You shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized uh, with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my Father. And when ten heard it, they were moved with indignation against the two brethren. They're just as bad as them. They want to push forward too. Isn't it sad how many people are seeking fame and fortune and, and yet won't just be a humble servant? We are told over and over in, 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 in the scriptures, as the Lord Jesus says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in spirit. Yes, take my yoke upon you, and you shall find rest in your souls. So God's looking for servants, not big shots. What are you? Are you a big shot Christian? You might be a preacher. You might be... Uh, someone that thinks highly of yourself forget it you're nothing you're nobody god is everything we are nothing be a servant humble yourself then god will exalt you he'll fill you with the spirit and then you can serve him as a servant as he was the greatest servant glory to god this we're reading about moses now in exodus and all that he did but when he died only thing only thing god said about moses my servant Moses is dead. Now my servant Joshua, who faithfully served Moses and the Lord, now he's in charge. Let's be servants. Let's pray. Lord, maybe there's someone out here in Facebook today that's not saved. You don't know nothing about serving God because you don't even know him. You're not born again. Do you believe that Jesus died and shed his blood on the cross for your sins and paid the penalty? Do you believe he rose from the grave? Are you willing to turn from all of your religion and all of your works and all of your foolishness and say, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner, and save you? That's all you can do to be saved. Lord, someone sent me a text the last two days. They're gonna, they found the true church, the Christian church that's going to baptize them and get them to heaven. They found the true church. No, they haven't. Baptism won't save you in any church, whether it be the, the Catholic Church or the Christian Church or the Jesus-only Church or any of them. Baptism won't save you anywhere, just the blood of Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and I'll be saved. Maybe there's some out there, a religious person, you need to be saved. Humble yourselves, trust Christ, and follow him. This is the prayer. Pray it with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me. And shed your precious blood on Calvary's cross. And rose from the grave the third day, the best I know how, with an honest heart, I turned from my sins. Thank you for saving me. Lord, you know the hearts of these. I hope there are some that have trusted Christ. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Now listen, dear one, if you've trusted Christ today, I want you to, to let me know. And follow him and serve him. You're a new person in Christ. Start living for him and following the Bible. God bless you. We'll, uh, we'll talk. Send this to someone. Someone needs it. We'll talk to you tomorrow.